So we've been talking about area. Uh, an area is simply the amount of space a shape takes up. And we've been learning about using uh, square units, um, square inches and square centimeters mostly. And all that means it's the number of squares that it would take to cover a space. And mostly we've been looking at rectangles like this one. And we notice that this one, if we just count, um, has 12 squares inside it. So this rectangle is 12 square units in area. Um, we can notice some more things about it too though. Um, we can measure the side lengths. Um, it is 1, 2, 3 units tall and 4 units wide. Um, and what we've noticed is that this is just like an array. If we imagine that each of the squares is an object in an array, like this, then that reminds us that there's a multiplication relationship here, um, and that it's three rows of four. So three times four, which equals 12, which matches the number of units that we counted. What's helpful about this is that we don't actually need to see all of the squares. So, for example, here, um, we only have the squares on the edges. And what I see is that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units tall. And it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units wide. Now, what does that tell me? That tells me that I can imagine that there are more squares. I'm just going to trace them in in a different color here. And so I can imagine that there are five rows, and in each row there are going to be six. So, but I don't, I don't actually need any of those lines there, because I can just imagine what they would look like. In each one of these rows, it's going to be the same as the top row. So there's going to be five rows of six, and the area then is going to equal five times six square units. So 5 times 6 equals 30 square units. SQ stands for square. Um, and we can solve all sorts of problems like this now. Um, in fact, I don't even need any of those um, squares at all. I can just use my imagination. Like, let's say I know that this is three inches tall and six inches wide, um, then I know that the area, A stands for area, is going to be three times six inches. And three times six is 18, so it's 18 square, SQ for square, IN, uh, IN for inches, 18 square inches. Now what about this problem? Here we have a rectangle with an area of 28 square centimeters and we know it's 7 centimeters tall but we don't know the other side length. How can we solve this? Well, um, what we looked at is that because every rectangle has this multiplication relationship with its area we know that we could write it as a multiplication sentence like this. 7 times something Hmm, I'm out of space there. So I'm going to move that. 7 times something equals, whoops, uh, equals 28. So what is the something? I could count by 7s. 7, 14, 21, 28. Nice. So that was 4 7s. So 7 times 4 equals 28. I could also have written it as division like this. 28 divided by 7 equals blank. And as we just showed, that equals 4. So the missing side length is 4 centimeters. Let's do another one like that. So here we have a rectangle which is 9 meters wide and it has an area of 18 square meters and we have a missing side length. So again, we can use that relationship. We know it's going to be something times 9 equals 18 or 18 divided by 9 equals something. Well, what is it? If you count by 9's, 9, 18, 
you see that it is 2 is the missing number. So we just learned that this is 2 meters tall. One last thing we want to look at. Um, here's two um, uh, rectangles with an area of 9 square units. And I didn't draw them to the right size, and I did that for a reason, um, because I want you to think about this. One of them is 9 square centimeters, and one of them is 9 square inches. They're both 9 square units, but which is larger? Um, I actually drew it a little larger, but the 9 square inches one is going to be a lot larger because an inch is significantly bi bigger than a centimeter. So that's just something to keep in mind. Even though something has the same number of units, it doesn't mean they're the same size. I'm going to actually grow this one to make it a little more realistic. Really, this one should be more like that compared to this one. In fact, this one maybe should be a little smaller, more like this. So they're really very different, even though they have 9 square units. <clears throat> so the size of the unit matters for how big the area is. They have the same number of units, but this one has the larger area. Um, I think that'll do you for now. Uh, there'll be another area review uh, video coming soon.